Hey folks, I hope you got to see my last video, which was running a magnetron at low power using a low power high voltage supply and a three volt filament supply. This is the next step of that. I'm gonna use this neon sign transformer. This is a uh, traditional neon sign transformer. It puts out about nine kilovolts. And I can control the voltage that this puts out using a variac, which I have inside the garage. I'm taking the output of this neon sign transformer and rectifying it through this microwave oven rectifier that I harvested out of an old microwave oven. And I'm storing it up in this high voltage mica capacitor. This capacitor is weight rated for four nanofarads. So this side of the capacitor is negative and this side of the capacitor is positive. Now the positive DC that stores up in this capacitor goes to the casing of the magnetron. And if you haven't seen a magnetron, this is what they look like. This one has um, uh, the filament and cathode in this box. So the positive is here, and then the negative of the capacitor goes to the uh, cathode, which is here. And I have three volts AC across the cathode, which is a heated filament. And the filament is being heated via this transformer variac that controls this. This neon sign transformer is also inside the garage. So this is outside um, of the garage and I'm gonna close down the door of the garage so any microwaves don't get through the metal and get at me. Now typically, to be safe in microwaves, you don't wanna exceed one watt of microwave energy per square meter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate this thing with me inside the garage and I'm gonna photograph that bulb just to demonstrate the output of the microwave energy. And I've got a bunch of fil line filters here for protecting the house mains. And those are typically found inside a, a microwave oven anyway. So here's your setup, transformer for your filament, your neon sign transformer connected to a variant for your high voltage. And I'm gonna put about 4,000 volts in there, three volts across the filament. Um, the, cath the cathode is negative, like I said, and the anode, which is the casing, is positive. Okay, here it goes. I'm increasing the voltage on the variac up to 80 volts. One thing interesting on the slow motion is I'm doing this on a cutting board and notice how the cutting board starts glowing pink even before the neon lights up. I hope you found this interesting. These neon sign transformers are rated um, for about 30 milliamps. And if you run them at about 4,000 volts, they'll put out about 120 watts. So I just wanted to see in this video if you could actually run a, a magnetron with one of these devices. And sure enough, you can. And at 120 watts, it's a whole lot safer than running it at um, uh, full power from a microwave oven transformer, those things typically put out one amp. At one amp, you're putting uh, pretty much almost two kilowatts of microwave energy out, and that's very dangerous. Now, I do actually plan to uh, do a video at some point uh, running um, a magnetron using a microwave oven transformer, and with adequate safety precautions, I'll be running it remotely. 
and uh, watching to see what it does to various items. And I know people have done this in the past. Thanks for watching and please check back soon.